Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today we are going to be doing a pretty long haul. I'll try to keep it as short as I can, but if you want, go and grab your coffee or your tea and we'll get started in just a little bit. All right, let's get started with some paper. All of these things that I'm gonna be doing a haul of is from the flea market, which happens locally um, in my city. I want to dedicate this video to my friend Sheva over at uh, Barrett Mixed Journals. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link of her Instagram down below. Um, I just wanna say thank you, Sheva, for always being so supportive. Um, she's been there since day one when I started and um, I actually started junk journaling because of her. She was telling me when she saw my Instagram story um, to post a haul and so this video is dedicated to her. I saw these in a bin and they're like really beat up but I thought that they were wallpaper and I got really excited. But if you look closely, it's not bad. It's um really pretty and yes it was at the bottom of a bunch of things but you won't believe how many they gave me for two dollars it was crazy this one's still in the wrapping which is like a marble gold color you guys already saw these so there's the first three i didn't even count how many they gave me because they gave me so many um and i'm just gonna Show you guys the ones that I really liked the most first. And I know it's like really wrinkled, but you could still use it for um, for tags, for journal pages, which is what I intend to do with these. The wrinkled part, I'm gonna salvage it and use it for journal page. I mean, sorry for um, tags, scrap busting, sending the better unwrinkled parts of these and like nail to friends oh my gosh this one you guys i absolutely loved it look at that this is the one that caught my eye and i thought it was wallpaper but it's pretty it's i guess it's vintage gift wrapping paper because it feels sturdier than the stuff that we get at the store nowadays there's this look at these little cupids my goodness this just screams victorian which by the way if you guys are into um, not just Victorian, but beautiful journals, check out um, my friend's channel, Aloha's Creations. She just created a shabby, che shabby chic, I can never say it right, um, Victorian inspired vintage journal. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, it is beautiful. It's like a purse, it has It'll just make your heart skip a beat when you see it. That's how pretty it is. I'm not sure if this is wallpaper. No, I don't think this is wallpaper. So it still it still feels too thin to be wallpaper. Um, let me just peel it really quick. This one says Grant Gwen Frostwick. Butterfly right there. So cute. Okay, we got some more. This is kind of like a wood paneling. Oh my, this is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so initially when I went to this specific um, vendor at the flea market, I asked only for three gift wraps and then the lady said something to me in Spanish, which I didn't understand. She said three dollars, and I, I was wondering like why three dollars. You know, I was only asking for three. That's kind of expensive. And I look off to the side, and she's telling one of her workers to wrap up all of the gift wrapping paper and stick it in a trash bag for me. So that's how I I got to come home with all of these um, gift wrap paper. Is they just wanted to get rid of it, so they gave it all to me. I guess nobody else wanted to buy paper like this. Okay, this next one has got to be one of my favorites. Because I am a cat person. I love dogs too. Don't get me wrong. But I have two cats. And look at the cats. Oh my gosh, look at this one. So naughty. 
which is exactly how my cats are. They're so naughty. Oh, and then this one, and oh my goodness. And they do like to chase, they like to chase insects whenever my cats see uh, like a fly or something in the backyard, they just go nuts. They make like this little chittering noise. It's so funny. Okay, let's keep our, uh, uh, there's some uh, rubber band stuck to it. It's like dried rubber band. Uh, this one is like a little, oh, look how cute. And there's loads of this one. Wow, this one is a thick, thick all. Look, here's another one, chevron print, plain white one. Okay, I'm gonna, again, it's, um, I don't wanna unwrap it because then it'll just open up like that and I wanna avoid that. Uh, vintage fruits. I thought that this was so, I thought this was ugly, but then now I see the inside of it and it's so cute. It's groovy, even though it's all um, wrinkled. I'm. Oh, this one was my favorite. Okay. This one had quotes and, oh, it's not that long. Oh, it's like towards the end. I got the end of the roll. It's okay, I will cherish this one. Um, there's different quotes on this. It says, this reminds me of the Joe Kmart brand, the smiley face. 50th birthday. Cool. Okay. Okay. This second part is um, I got from a vendor that has two, I want to say two lots, and one of the lots, uh, it wasn't a dollar. For all of these, it was. Two dollars again, uh, and they have this. They have this fabric lace. So basically, you just go to the lot, and they say like two for a dollar or something like that. Well, I had made friends with them, and so they just gave me a good deal on him. I'm planning on turning this one into a journal, and then this one actually wasn't part of this. This was the most expensive one that day that I got, which was this was two dollars, which is expensive. I think it would. I think, I think if you're shopping at the flea market, something like this should have been like a dollar, dollar fifty. But I didn't want to let it go because I'm going to be turning it into um, part of a journal idea that I have. So it's an Asian jewelry holder. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. I also found this book on the floor. And the this is the back cover, but it completely just caught my attention. This is the front cover. How pretty, right? And I went to go open it. And wow, and it's huge. This is the size of my hand. The size of my arm. Oh my gosh, you can't even see it. Anyways, it's like longer than from my wrist to my elbow to give you an idea. Another item that I got was this purse that was two dollars again. <laughs> I think I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> Anyways, um, I grabbed it and it was heavy. The guy looked like he wanted to get rid of it, um, so I just I didn't even like I just said from afar because he was pretty far. How much for everything, including the inside of it? And he was like two dollars. Like, all right, I'll take it. This was in my other video. I just stuck this in here because I have a journal idea for this purse. But this is what it came with. I haven't even opened this, you guys. I think it just one other time um, to quickly sift through it. But I didn't really have any idea what's in here. Oh my goodness, 
there's ephemera in here. Receipts. Mm. Ribbons. An origami. Oh, this is so cool. An origami crane. And it looks super vintage. How cute. Little pouch. Oh, sweet. What the heck is this? What is this? <laughs> it reminds me of like a goatee or a mustache. Okay, there's something else here no idea what this is but for sure these crystals are going into a journal for sure more ribbon what is this gil hooli okay if you guys know what this is, please leave a comment down below. Ooh, scissors! I got more. I got a new. I got new scissors, guys. Even though they're hair cutting scissors, nice. Uh, I don't know what this is, but this would be so cool. I got a rock. <laughs> yeah, I got a rock. They left a rock in here, honey. It's like burlap ribbon. This was my, I know this was my toddler's. He snuck it in here. Oh, there's a little jingle bell. Charger, a fuzzy, and some ephemera. Okay, this next one I was like so excited about you guys. I can't, I don't want to take the camera off of the holder, um, but my gosh, it was opened when I saw it. It was propped up like this. Like this. Do you see that? It was a huge box full of sewing stuff. And the night before, there was an Instagram sale. And I wanted the sewing box, but I was too late. It was a sewing box full of sewing notions and all that stuff. Vintage stuff. And I didn't get it. Uh, I put back up, of course, because, you know, I was like, hey, if they don't want it, I'll take it um, if they change their mind. But I was bummed. I was bummed out about it that I missed out on it. But then I saw this the next day. And you won't believe how much they gave it to me. So I'm going to keep going through these. And I'm going to give you guys, like, 10 seconds just to, you know, put a guess out there. Because this box is huge, all right? So I'll give you a few seconds. Okay. Say it out loud. You got your number in your head, or did you say it out loud? Okay. I got this whole thing with all these goodies in it for $5. Like, what? Right? What? I was so shocked when the lady was like, uh, $5. We don't really, we don't really want anything that's in there anymore. I was like, yo. I tried not to like smile too big. Um, but I was like, yeah, I'll take it. That is mine. Thank you very much. This is so cool. It has, ah, this just makes me so excited because it has all this like vintage stuff. And so pretty and it has ephemera and really old thingies like this that I don't even really know the name of. Appliques, maybe? Is that what they call it? Look at that! Adorable! Another thing that I like to do is I like to save the vintage packaging and then I'll scan it and then I'll use it in my journals as like tuck spots. Uh, I don't know why I haven't made a digital kit yet. 
out of them since I scanned them anyways, probably because I'm not that good at Photoshop. And then, yeah, they turn out pretty, so I'd like take this apart and then, yeah. Oh my goodness, a letter. Do you guys want to read it? Let's read it. Uh, Dear Eileen, thanks so very much for the darling birthday card. I truly appreciated it. Charlie took all the children to Asian City. Um, there, manning it a neat, fancy 12,000 van something. They are so excited. Charlene really didn't want to go until she saw the van and then she jumped right in. I'll miss them awfully a lot, but I miss them awfully, but they will have a ball and it will give me some time by myself to do some things I haven't been able to do. I'll something to come. I'll have to come to see you, but I have to stay here. I have I'll, I'll something to stay here as I have something important apples with my lawyer. It doesn't look like there is any hope for us. Oh, okay, this is getting really sad. I only wish we could have settled this quietly without all their trying something business, but it goes on. I never know I never knew Charlie could be oh okay I don't want to read this could be mean at least he's in the right profession I've heard rumbles sure that you might be back in August my blank was my answer was I don't know I don't know how much you love it there but I miss you and would welcome you back with open arms let me know what's happening. Just a quick note to let you know I'm thinking of you as well. My best to be all. Love, Jennifer. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jennifer. If you were having a tough time, you wrote on a beautiful card. Oh, honey, don't touch those. I told you, those are owies. Potential owies. Uh, on the desk. So there's just a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see if there's anything good that we can... Oh, that is super dirty. What is this? Oh, that's adorable. Look at the pin. Oh, it's a pin holder. Duh. Dumbish. Pin holder. Also, for the people asking, is your name Maisie or is your name Mish? It's a little bit of both. Um, my name is Mish, um, but I kind of gave myself the name Maisie, I guess, um, because I really like what the word meant, which was light. Um, so now I have people who call me Maisie. Uh, mostly online friends and then people who call me Mish. So it's a little bit of both. Ooh, I hear pins in here. More seam binding stuff. Gosh, there's just so much goodness in here, you guys. Look how cute that is. Oh, it goes in there. Look at those images. Look at that baby! Ah! So adorable. I love baby images. Paper. Okay. I think that's it with this one. I'm gonna jump into the next one. I think the rest of what's coming up are books. If you've made it this far, I want to thank you for watching my video. I hope you're having as good of a time as I am going through these treasures. If you have a local uh, swap meet, that's what we call it here, or flea market in your area, I highly encourage you to go. Um, and don't be afraid to dig in the bins.
You'll find so many good things. Just, you know, bring hand sanitizer because it does get dusty. Okay, let us go into the next item. I got this from another friend at the market. Her name is Dina. Hi, Dina, if you're watching this. Um, she calls me the girl who likes to buy the broken things because I bought all her broken jewelry, um, all her old papers. I just got a bunch of stuff from her. And she saves, she doesn't throw away anything anymore. She just uh, gives them to me. She saves them for me, like broken glasses and stuff. And she's just like, here, you could have it. Nobody wants it. So it's pretty funny. Anyways, here's my haul from Dina, my dear friend from the market. Some beads that were so strong. Beautiful, right? I found this frame that's a pin. Half of an earring pair, half of another earring pair. More blue beads. I have an idea for these beads. I'm gonna be um, making a blue themed journal soon that I'm super excited about once I get all of my other projects done. I have a Bridgerton journal coming up, you guys. It's, it's so exciting. Look at this one. I love this one. These feet are the exact size uh, and shape of an unborn baby's feet at 10 weeks after conception. How cute is that? They're so tiny. I love everything about babies. Gosh, I love my kids. I love babies. I love pictures of babies. I got this thingy. I think it's to hold a uh, film. I don't really know what to do with it, but we'll see. Okay. And then got a um a bunch of these recording tape. What would you guys junk journalers out there and junk journal makers? What would you do with these? I am thinking of using them for like a belly band, of course there's strips, um to put on tabs and stuff like that but I bought three of them I think I think three of them um what is this oh it's for recordings oh interesting look at how cool these boxes are so neat that's it everybody that concludes haul from the market oh wait 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 i didn't go through the books sorry i saw this water damage other people would be like you know ew i don't want nothing to do with it but gee look at the patina on this page it's beautiful it's beautiful Edmund Burke, Reflections on the Revolution in France. And the good thing about these books is um, they have no smell. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you get really old books and they smell and I tend not to go for those. Um, but these, they don't they have no scent whatsoever. They're just dusty. Every time I work with books like this, I can't. Um... Oh, this is cool. Did she sneak this in here? I don't remember grabbing this. I think she snuck this in here. She always gives me things that I, that, like I pay, I go to pay for everything and then I find like things in there that she snuck in that she thinks I would enjoy. And it's a surprise and I love it. And I'm very grateful. Oh, honey, these are a little bit... Look at mommy's hands. Ugh, we gotta wash hands. Yeah? 
We gotta wash hands. Mm -hmm. We gotta wash hands. Thank you everyone for joining my haul. And um, I hope you enjoyed. I think I said that again already. Um, yeah. Bye. God bless.